Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi recently announced plans to develop four roads and back streets in the province as thematic streets for tourism. The areas selected for such development are Bonnet Road in Goyang City, Dongpyeon Village Cafe Street in Anyang City, Doldari Cultural Street in Paju City, and Guanin Cultural Street in Pochun City. The project involves the allocation of 80 million Korean won to each area for the development of attractive tourism contents, products, and experiential programs. Kyungi Province announced the selection of 13 traditional markets in the province for specialization support following a related project contest for this year. The province has allocated a total of 3.5 billion Korean won for this support program. Aimed at revitalizing local economies, the implementation of this program will be overseen jointly by the province and the Kyunggi-do Market Revitalization Agency. The Kyunggi Agricultural Research and Extension Services recently introduced a pearl-shaped vinegar product. Using local wild grapes and non-glutinous rice, this product was developed by the Institute through the successful encasing of vinegar in pearl-shaped membranes. The Institute plans to apply this production technique to other condiments, such as soy sauce and wasabi, so as to differentiate their markets from those currently existing for domestic condiment products. In order to promote inter-Korean peace, Gyeonggi Province will live stream Flowers Blooming with Peace at 8 p.m., on March 30th. This event combines a live fashion show with a musical featuring actor Min Woo Hyuk and dancer Yoon Bo A that focuses on the stories of people repatriated after the Korean War. It will present costumes created by students of fashion design schools in the province. In addition to the live streamed event, the province will also use a metaverse exhibition hall to convey a message of peace. The Kyungi Maritime and Fisheries Research Institute plans to release 1.4 million young smelt it hatched into Namyang Lake, which is shared by the cities of Hwasong and Pyeongtaek, and into Tando Lake of Ansan City by April. The institute has been working to increase smelt populations through embryo transfer technology since the 1990s so as to restore indigenous fish species and boost fishing household income. Institute President Kim Bong-ho stated that, beginning with the release of the smelt, the Institute will sequentially release other aquatic species favored by fishermen, including mandarin fish, carp and marsh snails, through to November. Predicting an increase in this year's foreign leafhopper population due to warm temperatures in December last year and January this year, the Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services called for close monitoring and timely measurements to ensure population control. This year, leafhopper hatching is expected to begin one or two days earlier than last year. Since it takes approximately 20 days for all foreign leafhopper eggs to hatch, the greatest control effect can be achieved by taking concurrent preventive measures in late May. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.